The Middle East region is home to some of the most famous skyscrapers in the world, including the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Saudi Arabia is also planning to build a two-kilometer tall skyscraper that would become the tallest building in the world, upon its expected completion in 2030. These towering structures are not only architectural masterpieces but also serve as symbols of the region's ambition and progress, showcasing the impressive technological and engineering capabilities of the Middle East. For the past 13 years, the iconic Burj Khalifa has stood strong as the world's tallest tower, but in the coming years, it may no longer hold its record. In latest developments, Kuwait has announced plans to eclipse the efforts of all other nations to build the world's tallest skyscraper. If these plans come into fruition, Dubai may no longer hold its record-breaking title. In today's video, we will uncover everything you need to know about this amazing new skyscraper that is set to become the world's tallest building in the near future. Before we begin don't forget to click on that subscribe button and leave a comment below as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. Kuwait is among the top 10 crude oil producers in the world and has the fourth largest sovereign wealth fund. That, along with its relatively small population of 4.26 million places Kuwait among the richest countries in the world per capita. Similar to nearby countries like Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, the health of Kuwait's economy is largely tied to the price of oil. Much like his peers elsewhere in the Arabian Gulf, the Sheikh of Kuwait wants to reduce the economy's dependence on its enormous oil and gas reserves. Just like Saudi Arabia has done with megaprojects like Neom and Qadiyah, Kuwait is trying to diversify the economy with the creation of a new megacity which will act as a free economic zone. Located on the other side of a bay from Kuwait City, the zone will link the Gulf to Central Asia and Europe. Although it takes the name of Madinard al Hari, the zone is mostly known as Silk City, invoking the old trading route of the same name and emphasizing the role that the Emir sees it playing. The centerpiece of this new megacity is an enormous skyscraper that has an extraordinary design. Known as Burj Mubarak al Kabir, the skyscraper will be one kilometer tall, precisely 1,001 meters or 3,284 feet tall. The Burj Mubarak Tower will stand tall in the middle of Silk City, showcasing Kuwait's status and progress. Kuwait aims to build this superstructure with an expected cost of nearly 25 billion Kuwaiti dinars, which is a whopping $82 billion. It is anticipated that the construction of this tower will begin by 2023, and the project will take around 25 long years to be completed. This billion-dollar project is being developed by the Kuwaiti real estate company Tamdine Group. The tower will be designed by renowned Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava, who is well known for his designs including the World Trade Center Transportation Hub, Milwaukee Art Museum, and the City of Arts and Sciences in Spain. The skyscraper's design is inspired by a traditional Islamic minaret, a type of tower typically built into or adjacent to mosques. Although the Mubarak al Kabir Tower would have a greater number of floors, the elevators would have to be double deckers due to the amount of space taken up. Due to its immense height, the building is vulnerable to high winds. To maintain stability in the face of these winds, the one kilometer tall tower will have three interlocking and twisting structures that will ensure that the tower is protected against vibrations from a wind speed of 240 kilometers per hour. Moreover, there would be vertical ailerons running the entire length of the building on each edge. As these ailerons were positioned, the winds would be redirected so as to minimize structural noise. At 1,001 meters height, the gigantic Burj Mubarak Al Kabir Tower will have a lean top and 234 floors with an accommodation capacity of 7,000 individuals. The height of the tower is reportedly an intentional tribute to the all time famous folk tales collection Thousand and One Arabian Nights. The upcoming skyscraper will be a mixed use development. It will come with various facilities 
including offices, apartments, and observation decks. Along with these, the tower will also have a hotel and many retail outlets and restaurants. It is expected to become a major tourist attraction, embodying Kuwait's ambition and progress. In addition to its remarkable height, the tower will also consist of seven vertical villages which will include the hotels, residences, offices, and other entertainment amenities. The Silk City project spans across an area of 250 square kilometers and it will be constructed in individual phases. The city will be home to a massive central park and other residential, commercial, and recreational facilities. This development is expected to provide around 430,000 jobs for the locals and a lot more opportunities for local and foreign investors. The government aims to accommodate around 700,000 people in this new megacity. Silk City will house four distinct districts, each with its own city center. These include the Finance City, Leisure City, Ecological City, and Residential City, which are designed to provide the highest of global standards with a special focus on educational and cultural amenities, culminating in a truly integrated solution for this modern community. Silk City will also include other attractions such as a nature reservation area spanning two square kilometers and a new airport and a duty-free area in addition to multiple amenities including business, leisure, athletic and environmental areas and conventions. Other plans include a rail network, a port, a logistics and industrial hub, as well as an Olympic stadium. All this would give a big boost to Kuwait's economy. In all, Silk City Project is expected to generate a staggering $81.5 billion investment. The entire project is to be completed at an estimated cost of $132 billion. These were all announced as part of Silk City's $86 billion Phase 1 in February 2019. The Silk City Project is part of the Kuwait Vision 2035 a plan that aims to transform the Middle East country into a global financial hub. As part of the plan, the government will focus on the development of northern Kuwait. In May 2019, the Sheikh Jarber Causeway opened as part of the Silk City Project's first phase. The causeway connects northern Kuwait to Kuwait City. It was one of the largest and most challenging infrastructure projects in the entire world. The causeway had an estimated construction value of approximately $3 billion, and upon completion, the driving time from northern Kuwait to Kuwait City greatly shortened. The Silk City project's first phase also includes the Mubarak Al-Kabir port which is currently under construction, and it is part of China's Belt and Road Initiative. China will be heavily involved in the development of Silk City. China is the biggest importer of oil globally and the destination for more than half of the Middle East's oil exports. It is therefore an important market for Kuwait. China signed a cooperation agreement with Kuwait for the city's development and it was agreed that the Chinese construction and communications company would oversee the first phase of the project. This is in line with China's Belt and Road Initiative which aims to expand trade networks as well as the Republic's political and economic influence. China is particularly interested in the Mubarak Al-Kabir port, which upon completion, will be among the closest seaports to Central Asia. The Silk City project has the ability to help Kuwait begin to transition away from its economic reliance on oil exports, which as of 2019, comprised nearly 90% of state income. Construction of the city is well underway though it may take several more years to complete and reap the benefits. With the Burj Mubarak Tower, the project is set to push the boundaries of architectural achievement and the Middle East's status as a region with some of the world's most incredible and innovative structures will continue long into the future. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.